welcome back to Watch the Time. So thank you for tuning back in. Uh, today I'm bringing you another Orient. This is the Orient Kamasu. Uh, massive thank you to my friend Matty S for sending it over. Top, top man, I really appreciate it. A bit of a surprise, really. Um, he just let me know he sent it in the post. Uh, he said he would at some point, but we hadn't really spoken and it was in the post and now I've got it and there we go. Uh, Orient Kamasu, one that's been on my radar for a while, actually, uh, given the, the price and the specs and the Sapphire Crystal, which is a bit of an improvement on some of the other Makos and stuff they do. So um, this one was limited edition. And as I say, this one comes with a red sort of bezel insert as opposed to black. But um, I can, all I say early doors is I can see why Orient as a brand have so much love. And I can see why the Kamasu is one that's become a bit of a favorite really. Because I feel like it, it does represent sort of pretty, pretty good value for money. Uh, as do most Orients, to be honest. I've had a few, and they don't, they all, they don't fail to, to to live up to the expectation. To be honest, they always they always perform, they always produce, and yeah, without saying too much, hopefully this does the same. But uh, I do really appreciate you tuning back in. I hope you enjoyed the video, and without further ado, let's get the camera turned around and get on with it. Hi guys, so this is the watch. As you can see, it's the Orient, uh, more specifically the uh, Kamasu. And as I said in the brief intro, it is a limited edition. Um, yeah, was actually very, very impressed with this watch. Uh, the Kamasu is not one that really was on my radar to buy for myself. I definitely wanted to try and get one in for the channel. Um, but it wasn't one that I essentially wanted to add to the collection. Uh, would that have changed by the end of this video? Well, I guess time will tell. But um, it's been making a lot of good noises. That's all the international guarantee instructions and stuff in there it comes with sort of like velvet inside a uh, velvet type pillow i'm not saying it is definitely velvet but it feels a little bit like that uh, at the top it just comes with more packaging and the orient limited edition on there uh, let me just see very quickly i'll even show you the hang tang with the model number i won't make a habit of doing that just because the model numbers for uh, orient are quite, quite substantial to be honest but yeah that's the packaging um not not bad packaging uh, not bad at all and for the price and what you're getting i can see why people do like this watch but um that will take me on now to the watch um and now we've got the packaging out of the way let me just open it up the strap and that's what you're left with uh, a little stunner i do like the colorways actually but we'll talk about that in a bit so just a refresher in case for those who have forgotten the model number is ra hyphen aa 0813 r 19b uh, that's the last time i'll be saying it guys just given, given how long it is inside it's running an automatic it's the orient calibre you won't be able to see it because it's a not an exhibition case back but i'll bring some information up now actually about the, about the movement it's f6922 um it's it's a pretty cool movement uh, they've had it in a few of their different watches and i'll just bring up a few of the specifics now um yeah decent movement got hacking and stuff so you can't go wrong uh, the construction of the case, so the case, bezel aside from the insert, crown guards which you integrate with the case, crown, case back and pin buckle clasp, are all 316L stainless steel. There is a little bit of treatment on there, it makes it almost look um, sort of almost like a bronzy colour there to go with the sort of accents of the watch, but yeah it's just, it's just treated, it is stainless steel. The case thickness of this watch is 13 millimeters the case diameter when you go from the 8 to the 2 which is where I normally measure I've cut it's coming at 41.8 millimeters when you go from the 9 to the 3 including the crown that does become 45.1 millimeters the lug width is 22 and the lug to lug tip to tip is 46.4 millimeters so um, yeah good dimensions actually for a dive watch and it sort of hugs the wrist um because of that lug to lug also the the bezel is aluminium insert and i'll let you listen sort of ratchety style that you kind of get with seiko's as well um and the the in terms of the bezel the clicks and stuff very consistent very little bounce and back play if any uh doesn't quite line up um it's always a little bit off to the side but to me 120 click unidirectional aluminium bezel the crown is situated at the three o'clock and it is signed and the case back. I would have shown you briefly before we looked at the movement. 
is also screwed down and signed. Uh, yeah, it looks, looks pretty cool. The strap it comes on is a leather strap. And actually, guys, a uh, nice strap. It looks like two bits of leather put together, but done very, very well. Uh, sewn together, not just uh, glued together, which is what you get sometimes. And the strap feels very, very nice, actually. Um, and I do like the way they've matched again with the leather, with the dial. Because there's lots of sort of purples and reds and off-whites and browns going on there. So I think they've done well with the strap in terms of the material and in terms of the colour. The crown, uh, the, excuse me, the clasp we've seen is a pinbuckle clasp and it is also signed with Orient on there. The crystal covering that dial is a sapphire crystal because I tested it, which is quite a big selling point actually for these Kamasus. Uh, that's one of the big, big improvements they've made is on the sapphire crystal. The water resistance is 200 meters. That'll give you 20 atmospheres of water resistance. And in a few moments when I move the crown to a more neutral position to have a look at the dial, you'll see it also says it on the dial. And the weight will appear in the top right hand corner. It's in and around 91 grams, give or take. But let's have a look at the dial now, guys, as I say. Let me just undo the crown. Uh, so what you've got is you've got a minute track going around the outer edge. Uh, inside of that, let me just pop it to the 20 past eight position just for now so you can have a look. As I say, so it doesn't say 20 atmospheres, only if it says 20 bar, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, you've got a minute track. You've got slightly larger indentations every hour in that minute track. Inside there, you've got applied elements. So you've got a large sort of inverted triangle at the 12, larger battens at the 6 and 9, uh, circular battens everywhere else. You've got a date window. There's no, there's no battens there because it makes way with a day-date combination, uh, which is what you get with this movement. Uh, just below the, in, the the inverted triangle at the 12, you've got Orient automatic printed onto the dial, and just above the double bat, uh, the baton at the 12, uh, 6 o'clock, excuse me, you've got water resistant 20 bar, just sort of highlighting the fact it's 20 atmospheres of water resistance. As you'd have seen a moment ago, guys, uh, actually, let me just bring it onto the loom very quickly. I'll bring up the loom now just so you can have a look at it. Uh, pretty decent loom, actually. I'm sure you guys would have expected it given the fact it's an Orient and they produce pretty good stuff. So yeah, there's the loom. Uh, as I said, let me just take the crown out. You'd have noticed before what an eagle eye of you would have done. There's a hacking movement. It will hack once you take it out to the second position. Push it back in, it will start back up again. From that position, you can turn the crown and give it some charge. If you take it out to the first position, you can scroll through the date if you scroll downwards and day if you scroll the other way, uh, just to set it to whichever day you prefer, is obviously in keeping with when you're setting the time, obviously. But um, the sunburst dial is stunning in terms of the purple, reddy color. And that's also carries on with the bezel of the red and also that sort of sort of purpley, browny color. There's so many sort of ideas going on here with the colors. And like I said, they've even tied it in again with the, the strap and also the case in terms of the color. But um, yeah, it looks very, very nice, guys. Uh, beautiful, um, done very, very well. So yeah, that's the that's the dial, that's the date, that's the movement, that's everything else going on. But let me pop it on the wrist quickly, give you an idea of what it looks like on my wrist. Uh, as I've said before, my wrist is just above a seven inch wrist. And let me just get it put away. And what you have, you've got three more holes going the other way to fit sort of slightly sm smaller wrists. And you've got six going the other way again. So you've got a fair amount of holes there in terms of it to fit. So you're looking all the way down probably to near on six inches, all the way up to sort of nine and a half probably. So it's gonna fit a vast array of wrist sizes on this strap. And I'm not normally a fan of uh, dive watches on leather straps, but this leather strap is done very, very well for itself. Yeah, well done Orient, nicely done. But um, that would now take me on to what I think is pants and pucker about the watch. Uh, for those of you that have watched before, you'll know that I always start with pants. I like to go on a high with pucker. So what I think is pants is, yeah, the bezel alignment, uh, I'm sure you guys can make it out. It's just off to the right now. And it doesn't matter how many times, if I was to go all the way around, uh, as you come back, it will be in the same place. So there it goes. You see, where, that's when it's lined up. If I go one more, it's off again. So yeah, it's just sort of just in between, really. Uh, it doesn't quite line up. And the crown size in terms of, let me just screw it back up. I've had a bit of an issue trying to engage with the crown sometimes because of the crown guards. So I'd either like to get rid of the crown guards or make the crown just a bit bigger. One of the two, because I feel like 
it's not the easiest to deal with when you're sort of at the first or neutral position, if you like, once you unscrew it. So yeah, the crown size probably, or the crown guards, one of the two. So just to summarize what I think is pants, I'd go with the bezel alignment, and I'd go with the crown size, or getting rid of the crown guards. What I think is pucker, yeah, quite a lot more actually, I'd go with the sapphire crystal. Um, those of you that have been watching my videos for any, any length of time will know I do like a bit of sapphire crystal on my watch. Some call me a fa sapphire snob, uh, that might, might be right. <laughs> the dial, in terms of the purples, uh, in terms of the purpley red colours you get off there. More red really, more of a claret colour. Um, and actually looks really, really nice. The sunburst is nice. And it's sort of like got a little bit of a texture on the dial, not just a matte sort of finish. And the hands and indices, yeah. So the hands and indices are done really well. The loom's decent. And I like the fact they've used sort of like an off colour. Uh, again, in keeping with the rest of the, the watch in terms of the way they've done the colour. Uh, yeah, very, very nice. People might complain about the date window not being the same, but uh, for the price, I think they've done well. The bezel finishing, it's sort of like a matte finish they've done. Um, almost similar to when I got my, um, not, not but not quite, my Excitor, it's a bit of a brush finish. Not quite that, but it's definitely a matte finished on there. The case finishing, in terms of the, the way they've treated it, in terms of the transition, they've still got high polish surfaces, brush surfaces, but they've done it in that sort of um, colour, sort of like, yeah, it looks really, really cool. And yeah, the leather strap, the leather strap has surprised the hell out of, hell out of me, to be honest. Uh, I don't normally, as I say, like leather straps on dive watches, but this is definitely doing well for itself in terms of how it feels, the thickness, how comfortable it is. Yeah, very, very cool. So just to summarise what I think is pug hard, go with the sapphire crystal, the dial, the hands and indices, uh, because obviously of the colourways and stuff, the bezel finishing, the case finishing, and the leather strap in terms of what I think is a pucker. And would I recommend this watch? I would wholeheartedly. Um, I think it's a real beautiful watch. I didn't doubt it to be honest. My mate, my friend Matthias has some exquisite timepieces. Um, he really does know a nice watch. His collection is full of them. So yeah, I'm not surprised. But yeah, beautiful watch. If you can get this in at around three hundred pound, I do think it's it's worth the money. I think it's a beautiful piece. But um, guys and girls, let me know what you think about this watch. And Matthias, thank you once again. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and always watch the time. Take care, guys. All the very best.